Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. So continuing with the topic of real gas, today we'll deal with the mathematical formulation of real gas behavior. Okay. So uh, even in the next session we'll continue with this same topic only there we'll deal with correction in pressure and here we'll look at correction in volume. So let's see what I mean by that. So we have already seen in the previous session that the deviation in the behavior of ideal gas okay, when we are considering them to be real is because of presence of forces of interaction which includes both attraction and repulsion plus because of the finite volume of individual molecules. Now how do these two factors affect the pressure volume or temperature? So temperature we don't have to consider okay temperature uh, can be taken as an independent variable here but pressure and volume changes with forces of attraction okay so because because forces are present there might be some kind of change in the pressure exerted by molecules on the walls of the container we'll see later on in the next session how that happens plus forces of attraction and repulsion can also change bring about changes in volume of your gas okay in fact we have already seen uh, a part of this in the previous session that sometimes the volume of real gas is greater than the volume of ideal gas whereas at other times it can be less than the volume of ideal gas and might even be equal to the volume as calculated using ideal gas equation so forces of attraction will decrease the volume of real gas whereas forces of repulsion will try and increase the volume of real gas vis-a-vis -vis the ideal gas. Molecular volume also changes obviously okay so molecular volume that is the volume of individual molecule also brings about changes to the bulk volume of the gas okay so let's see how that happens alright so see here what we are trying to do is we are trying to derive an equation of state just like we did for ideal gas which can be used to predict the behavior of a real gas okay so we are trying to derive the equation of state or what you can call as a real gas equation which can be used to find the relationship between pressure volume and temperature for a real gas in your container okay. so the problem is we don't want to make things very complicated so what we are going to do is we are going to take the same ideal gas equation PV is equal to NRT okay, and we'll try and use some correction factors here which will explain or which will modify this equation to suit real gases as well so we don't have to make any changes to N, R and T okay they will still be same but as we have seen in the previous slide the pressure and volume changes okay because of the factors of forces and molecular volume right so this means we have to bring about some kind of correction terms to pressure and volume and once we do that we might be able to use this same ideal gas equation to real gases all right then we can call it a real gas equation so let's see the volume correction first okay and why do we even need a volume correction so if you remember in PV is equal to NRT that is in ideal gas equation the volume V is basically the volume of container which is available for free movement to for the molecules of the gas right this means if you remember or, or if you can recall from one of our sessions that the volume of the container available for free movement will be the for example let's take your study room so it will be volume of your study room minus the volume of tables chairs cupboards shelves because those spaces of okay those regions in space are already occupied by something else so gaseous molecules cannot occupy that same volume which has already been occupied by some other object right so similarly here now since we have a real gas let's assume this is the container which has nothing but real gas molecules inside it okay and nothing else is present so now if i want to calculate the volume available for free movement to these gaseous molecules 
how will i do that so it will be still equal to volume of container but now let's say this is the particular molecule i want to calculate v4 so the molecule 1 cannot occupy the same space as occupied by molecules 2 3 and 4 okay because these molecules are no more point particles they have a definite finite volume which can be calculated okay they are assumed to be solid hard spheres that means their volumes can be calculated as 4 by 3 pi r cube okay so this particular molecule cannot occupy certain regions in space in the same container because of presence of other molecules over there that means the volume available for free movement will now be the volume of container minus something else okay and this is our correction factor if we can find this correction factor we can simply continue to use ideal gas equation by substituting v for v minus the correction factor all right so this correction term basically indicates the excluded volume that is the volume which is excluded for free movement the volume which is not to be considered as available to the gaseous molecules so this correction term is also known as the excluded volume okay so let's see what the value of this excluded volume is so it's it's just like say when you are sitting in your classroom so this is you there is another student sitting beside you all right so do the volume of individual students are different okay and but this doesn't mean that the classroom the volume inside the classroom is equal to the volume of each students uh, summation right it is not equal to the summation of volume of each student because there is some empty space between the students sitting beside each other there is space above the heads of the student there is some space available okay at the legs of the students similarly at the ends of the student that means each student has certain volume okay certain region in space surrounded okay surrounding himself or herself which is not occupied by another student okay so it's just like your personal space everyone needs a personal space okay the space in which you will not allow anyone else to come just like that the molecules of gas though have a volume of 4 by 3 pi r cube they will not allow any other molecule to occupy a uh, their personal space as well that means the excluded volume is actually going to be more than 4 by 3 pi r cube okay so it turns out that the total volume which a molecule doesn't allow other molecules to occupy is four times their own volume okay so excluded volume per molecule is 4 into 4 by 3 pi r cube where r is the radius of this molecule all right so any other molecule trying to enter okay trying to come near this molecule can only go as far far as this dotted line okay that is the center of mass of the other molecule can only go as far as this dotted line it cannot go any further okay that is its personal boundary so this is the volume excluded volume per molecule so if let's say i have one mole of molecules then excluded volume for one mole molecules will simply be 4 into 4 by 3 pi r cube into na right that is the volume per molecule into number of molecules so this is the excluded volume per mole of gaseous molecules okay and since this r here represents radius of the molecule this hook excluded volume becomes a constant for a given gas but it differs from gas to gas that is methane and ammonia can have different radii right their radius might not be same 
Similarly, carbon dioxide, nitrogen can have different radii. Oxygen and ozone might have different radii. So, each gas will have a characteristic value of R. That means, they will have a characteristic value of excluded volume. So, let's call this with a new constant, say B. Okay? Let's refer to this excluded volume per mole of any gas as the constant B. And hence, the value of B will depend on the type of gas taken inside the container but it will be same for the same gas everywhere that is to say for nitrogen it will always have some fixed value for carbon dioxide it will have some another fixed value for chlorine it will have another fixed value so on and so forth okay so if b is my excluded volume per mole then okay so now our correction terms become very simple volume v available for free movement will be volume of the container minus B and if I have instead of one mole of gas I have n moles of gas then the excluded volume will be n into V right excluded volume per mole of gas is B then excluded volume for n moles of gas is n into B okay so this makes your ideal gas equation okay which initially was PV is equal to NRT Right now, we are not taking into account the corrections in pressure and or anything else, just volume. Okay, we are assuming everything else to be same for now. So, the new equation becomes P into V minus NB is equal to NRT, where, where V is your volume of the container, N is the number of moles and B is a constant characteristic of the gas okay so let's look at this equation okay we can call it modified modified ideal gas equation since what we did was we initially took PV is equal to NRT we assume that pressure correction is not taken into account and only volume of molecules cannot be neglected with respect to the bulk volume of gas okay this is the assumption that we are taking over here that is the forces of attraction interaction are not being taken into account only thing that we are taking into account is that individual molecules have a definite finite volume in that case our equation changes to P into V minus NB is equal to NRT okay and this P into V minus NB is equal to NRT has the same notations as before P is the pressure exerted by your gas which is a real gas in this case okay V is the volume of the container alright available for free movement N is the number of moles R gas constant universal gas constant okay still with the same value SI unit has a value of 8.314 T is still the temperature in Kelvin okay and B here, okay, B here is called Van der Waal gas constant, okay, or you can simply call it Van der Waal constant. It is constant for a given gas, all right. So later on, we'll deal in further detail with the value of B. We'll study some of the qualitative meaning of the term B, okay. For now, just remember it is it has a fixed value and it is called Van der Waal constant and it changes the value of B changes if we change the type of real gas present okay and this equation you can memorize this equation as the equation which represents a real gas assuming that the volume of molecules cannot be neglected with respect to the bulk volume that is the volume of molecules has a finite definite value which can be calculated using the value of B but the forces of interactions are still assumed to be absent okay so in the next session we'll look at the pressure correction term okay and after that we'll be able to devise the entire real gas equation or the equation which is otherwise known as van der Waal gas equation so until then and once again thanks for watching edupedia world videos